Cindy O'Meara, What's With Wheat is the title of my TEDx talk. We just pulled you off stage and how was your experience overall? How do you feel? Ah, relieved, <laughs> which is probably what everybody says. Um, it, it's been an amazing experience because I'm used to speaking for a day. And so when I was given 10 minutes, I went, oh, how am I going to do that? But what, what's amazing is the process of how we did it. Um, you know, I wrote it out, I then did PowerPoint and then I told, don't do your PowerPoint, just do the talk. So I, I listened to them um, through people. I figured they knew what they were doing with these TED Talks. So it's been an education. That's And I love to educate and love to be educated. Mm -hmm. And your message about wheat and food in general, really, because everybody, you know, like you said, 65,000 years, wheat has been a part of certain cultures. So everyone can connect to your message and what you've done, the great work with your documentary. Did you feel that connection? Could you kind of feel the energy in the audience? I'd love to hear your experience with that. I could hear a pin drop. I was looking, you know, like I was looking around and it was all very still and very quiet. And so... I think when a message is, it, it's a, it's a, a message that's serious. It's not, there's no comedy show in it. So it's a very serious message and it's a message that I really want to get out because there's so many people hurting out there at the moment and they don't know what it is. So to be given the opportunity to get that message out so that people can watch more about what's with weight um, through the documentary was, yeah, was good. Mm -hmm. It was really good. So now that you have the opportunity to enjoy the majority of the half day, you know, the kickoff speaker after lunch, <laughs> what are you most excited for in terms of this event, meeting people, talking with other thought leaders? What, maybe we can talk about your excitement for the remainder of the day. Yeah, listening to them without my heart racing is probably number one. Uh, and I think the dinner, I'm looking forward to the dinner and socializing with everybody because then we can all relax a little bit because we've had dinners where we're, you know, prepping and getting ready. And I think um, at this point I have met some amazing people, which I would say I would like to associate with more, uh, especially when they're in the same field as me or interested in what we're doing and we can collaborate to get the word out. So that's probably what I'm really looking forward to is that, you know, networking. I love that. And final question, probably my favorite question. Now that you are an illustrious TEDx speaker alum, <laughs> if you have any advice, any words of wisdom to future TEDx speakers, what would that be? Number one, it takes you out of your comfort zone. I think because it's so prestigious, it's something I've been watching for years, never thought that that was achievable for me. So I think number one, it takes you out of your comfort zone and that's a good thing. Even though it scares the bejeebas out of you, <laughs> it actually um, is a really good thing to get you out of your comfort zone, even as a speaker. <laughs> awesome, thank you so much.